Welcome, friends, to the class of BUSI 1307 Personal Finance. I am Randy Sala, Assistant Professor of Business for both the Connect and Northeast Campus, welcoming you to this course, and I'm so glad that you are taking it. hope this will be a great course for you, and I really think it will. As I look and as we look, as we embark on a new semester, you know, some of the reasons to take this class and some of the reasons why I like to teach it, I like to start with the why, the what, and the how. That's the process, the motivation behind it's the why, and, and what's we're going to produce here, the why. Well, why are we taking this class? Here's some great reasons. First of all, it is a transferable class to all colleges and universities. And uh, very soon, starting in the fall 2024 semester, just depends on when you're graduating, this class will be an elective for the AA in business. That's the Associate of Arts in Business. So transferable to all universities and colleges, and you can work in your business degree as well. That's pretty nice. So that's a quick why. And here's the real why. Surviving in chaos. Um, if you were to ask me what's my favorite, who is my favorite author, it would be Michael Crichton. Perhaps you have seen the movie Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, the whole series, Coma, uh, anything in the past. Those were Michael Crichton books, and he also helped direct those. You probably saw the, maybe you've seen the uh, production of ER, the television series. That's where George Clooney got his start. any rate, Michael Crichton kind of copy that chaos theory. And chaos theory, you got this from a Russian mathematician, is that systems we think that should be stable and predictable are very chaotic because of random and disruptive technologies that are coming into it. And if you look at our economics in the last 20, 30 years, education, health, inflation, crazy stuff happening, my friends. And does that affect our finances? Well, absolutely it does. So, we need to be able to be on the forefront of our finances because uh, things are happening fast. And again, I did mention inflation. Inflation is a terrible hidden tax, if you want to think of it that way, that really eats away at our disposable income. So we're a little better prepared to use our disposable income. I think that's a great motivation to take this course. 70% of Americans, my friends, really have no clue of their personal finances. And that is a very sad statement, isn't it? We are the largest economic country in the world, our GDP somewhere around, gross domestic product, somewhere around $25 trillion. We have somewhere around 60 plus trillion dollars of private wealth. And we also have a lot of debt and other things like that. So we are a superpower economically, and yet so many Americans, 70%, are really struggling. And personal finance is not even a requirement to graduate college, not even a requirement to graduate high school. So I think this is a big motivation, how we can get a little bit better, really help ourselves in the long run. So that's the why right in there. We've got to change the status quo. If you look at this picture right in here, these are concentric circles, and this is how an economy grows, this is how a system grows. We tend to have a new technology and we blow out to a new circle right in here. So where do we wanna be? Let's say this is the, this is the odds right in here, 2000, 2000, where we are right now, uh, in the 2020s. So if I stay back here, you know, I love 2010, and I, in fact, I love the year 2000 now. I was certainly born way before then. Uh, I was living too crazy. If I try to stay back there with the same thinking, I will become extinct. 50 of the top 50 Fortune 500 companies, I'm sorry, the, the Fortune 100 company, since the year 2000, don't even exist anymore. That is a disruption, isn't it? So, do we stay here or do we try to go so far and so fast? Well, if we go too fast, we go off the edge. Again, this is a Michael Crichton theory of uh, chaos. So, we've got to position ourselves somewhere, somewhere to this part of the envelope where we understand what is happening in the business world and how we might be able to take advantage of that. Yes, we definitely need to change the status quo 
in our lives. So with that being said, the learning objectives of this course, a few of them that I have for you, are how to plan our personal finances. That is the first unit. We look at establishing goals, establishing a cash flow plan, looking quickly at the rule of 72, which is how fast money can double. So things can become on our side, good things, very quickly here. Yep, there's that top 1% that do tend to control everything. Is that ever going to change? Well, you know, I just don't know. And But I do know this, I cannot worry about that top 1%. Now, you'd have to have a net income, I'm sorry, net wealth of about $25 million to be in there. So uh, what can we do personally to, uh, to get the most out of our income? Dumping debt, that's our second unit. Mm, there's a college student right there. Unfortunately, college students have a lot of debt anymore. Let's see how we can get through our degree with as little debt as possible. It is a great blessing that the state of Texas has probably the best community college system in the United States, if not the world. Many states did never invest it in community college. That's why community college gets a bad rap, as if it's, uh, it's just, just uh, it's, they're so far behind everything. But not in this state. And Tarrant County College is certainly, as Dallas County is as well, and Houston, we're, we're, we're some of the top schools in the nation. And so you're saving a ton of money by taking your classes here. I mean, the same cost as Southern Methodist University or Texas Christian University. The classes cost the same. It's who pays for it. And we're leveraging other people's money paying for this course. Take as many classes as you can at Tarrant County College before you transfer on so we can have a, a very limited amount of college debt that we have to pay off. But not only college debt, we have car debt, we have housing debt, we have the credit card debt. Many, 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 that's 70% of so many Americans are just, um, you know, right up to their eyeballs in debt. So how we can pay it off and how we can stop getting into debt. And of course, we want to go more than that. We want to start investing our money. That's the third unit of this class. How to invest that income. Um, hey, not only income, but if you're in your job right now, and, you're, and many of you are in a professional job, and some of you are just about to start that, you're going to get a 401k if you're working for a profit industry. You will get a 403b if you are going into a nonprofit, and you may get a 529 or, or other accounts if you're uh, going into the government work. All those are are just they're just categorizations by the Internal Revenue Service to say you can start putting money in this like a box. So what do we put in? And I think that's going to be very important. The, uh, the more time we have to before we retire, then we want to get some aggressiveness in these funds. And so we'll look at different investments that we can make for retirement, personally, and, uh, and home ownership as well. And then we close out this class with uh, estate planning, retirement, insurance, estate planning. Um, many of you may have had to have already been an executor for uh, a relative, possibly your parents. Uh, I have had to have that duty. It is an honor and it is very difficult as well. And so a few things that we can, I can hopefully show you to maybe make this a little easier. We, we wanna make, we wanna demystify personal finance. We wanna make it simple. And we want to make it easy habits that we can do on a continual basis to really grow uh, our financial plan. So that's the what, that's the why, the how, my friends. Well, this is an online course, okay? Um, we are living in that pandemic world. We, again, have seen the highest inflation since the 70s. And, uh, uh, you know, again, the government says it, it's one percentage, but you and I, who have to buy groceries, who, who pay for cars, car insurance, taxes, et cetera, et cetera. No, it is, it is well double digit, possibly 20, 30% increases that you've seen on clothing uh, and, and, and groceries and, and so forth. And so we have to have a flexible schedule. And the COVID world has not disappeared. Uh, even though we're a few years out of the pandemic, so to speak, uh, new cases come up doesn't matter where, what year we're in, we're, we're going to see it's going to be different. And so what I would like for you to do after this, this is a nice welcome video. I have a navigation of the course video as well. 
that will go over you know, your syllabus, what to look for, how to uh, manage this course, how to get your textbook. All that is in the navigation course video. So please watch that one. That will be available on the first day of class. This was just a, a welcome of what we're going to do. I'm excited. Uh, I, I, I really very much enjoy teaching this class. I teach it both on campus and of course online as this course is. I think you'll get a lot out of it. You'll get as much out of it as you put into it. And those students who put into their projects and really do some, some great research because it's all for you. This class, this class, my friends, is all about you and your money. I look forward to leading you through it.